Hello and welcome, my name is Tyler. I'm the founder and CEO of CBGY Scientific and the inventor of the Cannabinology Silver Thiosulfate Spray Kits. Today I'm here to demonstrate the first step in using the Cannabinology STS kits, which is the dilution process. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so let's get into the dilution process. Here's everything that you will need, everything from the kit, of course, uh, your syringe, um, always good to follow the instructions, but most importantly, your spray bottle. Um, all of these do come shrink wrapped, um, so you wanna go ahead and remove the plastic from the top of the bottle. And once you've removed that plastic, go ahead and open it up. And set the sprayer aside. There is a little bit of liquid in here, so make sure not to spill it. That is your uh, STS in the spray bottle. Go ahead and open up your syringe. Uh, we have our 10 mil syringe here. And you also need your cup of distilled or reverse osmosis water. Um, and this process is very easily. All we're gonna do is uh, fill up the syringe with some water, and then we're going to dispense it into the bottle. Now this bottle, you're gonna add about 25 milliliters of water. You don't have to measure uh, specifically. Uh, but do you do want to make sure that you are filling it up to just below the neck of the bottle. And that's about how much liquid you should have in there. It should be filled up just to uh, just below the neck of the bottle. The final step of the uh, dilution process is to add just a tiny bit of soap and the uh, soap that we recommend is uh, Dawn dish soap uh, because it's environmentally friendly, uh, but it really doesn't matter. Any kind of soap will work. Now, the reason we use soap uh, is as a surfactant, and basically what it does is it helps the STS solution spread more evenly across uh, the nodes, the stems, the leaves of the plant. And what this is going to do is uh, create more surface area for the STS compound to be absorbed into the plant. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and add our dish soap, and it's just a very, very small amount of dish soap that we need to add. Literally just a tiny drop, like that. You can put an extra one if you'd like, that won't mess it up too much. And then we'll go ahead and put our cap back on here. And in the instructions, we do say to mix by swirling. Um, and that's because if you uh, shake this very vigorously, you're gonna get a lot of bubbles because of those, the soap. Um, and the spray action is not gonna work as well. You're gonna get a lot of bubbles coming out of the sprayer. So you want to make sure that you swirl uh, to mix so that the soap dissolves uh, into the solution, but doesn't make too many bubbles. So when I mix, I usually just go like this, um, and that's going to mix that soap in. You can turn it upside down, give it a swirl as well. That's gonna help. Um, as you can see, there will be some bubbles here, uh, but not too many. All right, so that concludes uh, our tutorial on uh, phase one of using the Cannabinology STS spray kits. Uh, if anybody has any questions about this process, fe please feel free to reach out to us um, either in the comments of this video or uh, you can email us at cbgyscientific at gmail.com. You can also find more information and contact us through our website, cbgyscientific.com. Um, of course, if you are interested in using Cannabinology STS uh, spray kits, uh, you can find us on almost all of the major platforms, eBay, Amazon, as well as direct through our website. If you are interested in reaching out to us uh, on social media, you can do that as well um, at uh, CBGY Scientific on Instagram. I hope this tutorial was helpful for everybody. Uh, we will have future tutorials uh, talking about the other phases of uh, using the STS kits. Um, so stay tuned for the spray uh, tutorial as well as the pollination tutorial. And with that, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later.